No, no, you have you have no authority to do that. But I mean, you could ask, but I can nicely refuse. I'll put this down. Don't talk about my wife. What are you gonna do? I'll kick your ass. What I'll do? Why don't you go ahead and do it? Can I have your name and badge number, please. No. I'm sorry. No. What do you mean, no? Do you understand what I said? I said no. Are you a police officer? I sure am. You're supposed to be nice, courteous, and actually identify when asked. What's your name? There you go. Do you say that to the judge? Yep. Yeah? 452. Mm. I don't think that's how he talks to the judge. I don't think so either. I don't think so. Excuse me. Motorcycle? What's that? Motorcycle there? All right. All right. So these three need to be tracked. You want me to sign for it? Uh, no. Just tracked? Yep. Okay. 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 What's your name and badge number? Badge number is 1252. It's public record. Your name? What's your name? Why you have such a bad attitude towards the public? I you just, ain't got nothing I to just make. I'm. Do you have anything better to do? You became a cop, bro. Can you hit the green button, please? Yeah. You became a police officer to be rude to the public. Hmm. Huh. Yes, you are. Sir, I'm trying to. Turn Don't you. serve me. I'm trying to talk to my customers. Please. Don't assume my gender. <laughs> <laughs> I am a sir, by the way, but. And you said you wanted to track my sign. Correct. Fast or slow. Uh, so get offended, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, we got we got ourselves a little princess yeah. right here. Oh, a little princess. We can't even ask him his name because he he has this separation, this really big gap from the public. Unreal. Are you on your break? Because if you're at the post office on your break, it's okay. But if you're at work, then we got a problem. So yeah. we got a problem, Houston. Yeah, when you sign my paycheck, let me know. We actually do. We do. Actually, we do. We this do. guy doesn't even know who he works for. Guys, he doesn't know that the police... Hey, that the police. Why don't you shut up why don't you, and go out that door? Why don't you make me, old loser? You know, make you me. are the loser. Oh, please. Make me. Yeah. So. Once again. So. Same. Quit Same. messing with him. Leave him alone. Shut your mouth, old no, loser. No, I will not. Shut your mouth. I can talk as much as you Shut talk. your mouth. I will not. Shut your mouth. Stop right now. I right now. Dude. Chill out. You, right, right you now. are idiots. Uh, actually, get out that out. door. You're, be, you're causing a disturbance, actually. No, you are. Hey, sir. Okay. There's a, there, I didn't say there's a There's a crime so being committed. You, you want to handle this? It's federal. I can't do anything. Oh, you're good. At least you know that. At least you know that. What's oh, man. What is the matter? What's the matter? What's, what's the matter? Brother, yo, my bro over here wants no part of this. My, my bro over here wants no part of this. He wants no part of this. Actually, actually, we're raised, we're raised properly and we don't get involved in shit that don't, that don't involve, uh, that has nothing to do with us. You're taking my picture. I sure am. No, you're ridiculous. You're screaming at us without even knowing us. And this officer is a disgrace to his job. He's supposed to be, he's supposed to standing up for freedom. He is right though. He's on federal property. He has no jurisdiction here. It doesn't matter. He's, he, he's not. He can be on lunch break. You're right. I'm not. I'm going, I'm done with my day. All right. That's good. You're done for the day. You should be done for your, for, 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 for the rest of your life. Cause you can't deal with the public. I agree. Yeah, I do. What do you think? I agree. You agree, right? 100%. Oh, you yes. see, standing up for freedom, something's that, uh, something that you don't do, you know? You currently are loitering. Shut your mouth. You are loitering. You're not I'm not. You're not doing business here. I am. You are loitering. I'm not loitering. I'm in, I'm. You are loitering. I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. You don't, what's the First no, Amendment? All right, so that tell me, are. all right, so tell me who wrote the Constitution yeah. and I'll leave. You guys have a great day. Have a good day. Hello. You too. No, I will. Don't kick your dog today. All right. Awesome. 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 So, so, sir, you're American, right? Learn about our rights, bro. This is the United States. The, the First Amendment says we have freedom of the press. You can we go can go to China if you don't like you? it. Why are you go to China if you don't like it. Bro, you're the one screaming. You're the one screaming at people here. No one's screaming at you, dog. Hi, did anybody walk in here disrespecting anybody? No. And why are you bothering No. No, only only a guy like you, only a guy like you will come and interfere with our freedoms. I'm not interfering with your freedom. I'm yeah, you are. You're you, you guys are just creating trouble. Bro, you're why? the one screaming at the post office. <laughs> can you are literally can, just standing there and you can, can, out. can you believe this, bro? I can't believe it. My God.
My God. Good. So you want to shake hands and forget about this? Because I love, I love making up. I'm a, I'm a feelings guy. Look, let's do it. I, that's fine. Let's do it. Thank now, you. Just quit taping me. I will, because I'm not here for you. But I, I appreciate you shaking my hand and understanding that we have rights. Thank you. We're not here to film you. We were actually on our way out. Look at this guy. Oh, no. oh now he's doing exactly what he said I was, do I was wrong for doing. He doesn't like it so much, does he? Oh. It's your first amendment. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. You actually have the right I'm to I'm not do exactly it. sure why you guys... I know my rights, but I know so my rights. So what, what, what is the first amendment then? But I don't need you to, what is, need you to come in here and film me. What is the first amendment? This guy has nothing better to do than to be a Darren. A Darren. Okay. Yeah. Sir, you're... You're, you're a Karen. Yeah. I'm a Karen. Yeah. There you go. No, Karen's right behind you, sir. Oh, don't, don't talk about my wife like that. You're well, right. okay, okay, okay. Don't talk about my wife like that. Okay, Barbara. Barbara, sir. Sorry, what? Don't talk about my wife like that. I'll put this down. Don't talk about my wife. What are you like gonna that. do? I'll kick your ass. Is what I'll do. Why don't you go ahead and do it? Go ahead. That's right. You know what? He's gonna threaten my wife. Yeah. That's a threat. That's a threat. You just broke the law. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I have free speech. You. Remember? First Amendment. Free Fuck speech. you. Oh, that's a threat. No, you made a threat. That's a threat. No, that's See? the First Amendment, oh, actually. Exactly. First and you have 23,000 people watching you right now. Buddy. You have 23,000 yeah. people watching you right now, yeah. loser. 23,000 people watching you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Get out. You're a bully. You're a bully. I'm a bully? Yeah, you are. I'm a bully. Yeah, you are. Oh, okay. I'm a bully. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I hope 23,000 people do watch this and learn from you. No, they're yeah, yeah, they're gonna learn a lot from me. Yes, you're absolutely right about that. First Amendment. So there you go. Are you are you military? Free speech. What's the Third Amendment then? Free speech. What about the Third Amendment? Don't even engage him anymore. Let it go. Let it go. What's the Third Amendment? This guy's talking about kicking my ass. You're gonna do nothing. Fuck you to me. You right after you threatened to kick my ass. Yes. I called her a Karen. I called her a Karen. And I called you a Darren. Yeah. And I called you a Karen. Go away. Just go. How am I a Karen? How am I a Karen? You guys were the ones that started arguing. Well, maybe being at the post office is not the first, the place to go. Maybe it's not for you to go. Take your advice. Hey, listen, do yourself a favor. Go start a studio and film everybody you want. I have a studio. I have a studio. Ask people to come to your studio. There's nothing. There's nothing better than to be respectful to each other, but you don't know anything about that. Just make threats. That's what you did. You can't just film people. Yes, I can. Damn, people in America don't know about our rights. They're going to learn the tough way. This guy just said that making threats is not illegal. Can you believe that? <laughs> this guy's making threats on federal property. That's a crime, right, ma'am? It is. It is. It is. You can't make threats. That, listen, listen, don't, don't, don't ask me for nothing, bro. You guys call the cops on camera guy, but you don't call the cops on the threat guy. You guys call the police on camera, guys, but don't call the police on the threat guy. That He can get away with that. Don't give me orders. Don't give me orders. Where's the police for that guy? You guys called them for me, right? No, no, it's social security. Listen, security. He's talking about, he's making threats. He's making threats. That guy's making threats. At the post office. But here they are calling the police on the camera guy, but the guy makes a threat. And he's good to do that. He's good to do that. Then he thinks I'm going to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. He looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. But no, sir. If you try to hurt me in any way, you'll find, you'll, you'll find out real quick. I love this manager. He's the manager for a reason. I forgot to tell him. Unless he called the police. What do you think? They went postal or what? Everybody went crazy. Everybody went crazy. Glad we made our second round.
Can I get can I get your name and batch number, please? Uh, name's Sergeant Pete Ralvin. Hi. And badge number Sam Aiden. Well, we just had a police officer that left from here because he said that you guys have no jurisdiction here. Well, he's, um, he's from he's from Scottsdale. Are you are you postal inspector? No, I'm a Chandler police officer. Oh, okay. So you you don't have author uh, you don't have jurisdiction in here either unless there is an immediate threat. Everybody here is happy, aren't we, ma'am? We're happy. Yeah, as long so, as you guys are creating a disturbance, everybody's fine. No, nah, there was there there was nearly a disturbance here, but Papi's not a snitch. I'm not gonna snitch on anybody. You know what I'm saying? So you're more than welcome to 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 go because you are not. Uh, with all due respect, you have no jurisdiction here. You can't enforce any laws inside this building. We have the postal inspector. As long as you guys are behaving yourselves, we have no issue. Okay. Well, we, we shouldn't. Even if we didn't, we would have no issue because you have no jurisdiction here, Sergeant. You guys have a nice day, okay? Thank you, thank Everybody you. Let me get this, guys. Can I get, can I get your name and badge number, please? It's right here, my man. What is it? Right here. Well, well, Officer Townsend, badge 715. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just letting your sergeant know that you guys have no jurisdiction here, so please uh, step out of the building. Okay, we, um, we have as much right as you do to be in here, okay? While you're not at you work. You don't have to ask me to while, leave. While you're not at work. Yes. Okay, you don't have to ask me to leave. Oh, well, I, I, right I no, 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 you don't because you guys have a, a job to do. So come on in guys. Everything is good. <laughs> you guys have a job to do, but it's not here. <laughs> I understand you're enforcing the law, but that's a, that's on the sidewalk right there. That's your jurisdiction. Unless there's an immediate threat here, you have no jurisdiction here. And I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound rude, but that's just how it is. I, this is, it's not personal. It's just how the law works. I wanted to spend my lunch break in here. You could, you could, but you can't enforce the law here. That's what I'm saying. That's not what I said. I said, you don't need to ask me to leave. I can leave on my own accord. That's well, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm nicely asking you to leave. That's what, why would you want me to leave? Because you're at work. Unless you're on your lunch break and then you could be here. I might be on my lunch break. Same, same so why did you try to enforce your the, the law on your lunch break? I'm not enforcing any law here. Well, have you I came asked, asking about have disturbance. I or to, have I asked you to leave? No. Oh no no no! You have you have no authority to do that. But I mean, you could ask, but I can nicely refuse. Okay, but yeah. I'm not doing it. He could do it as well. Right? He could ask. You you ask him to leave, but he doesn't have to leave. Either. Yeah. Uh. Well, if he's on his lunch break, he doesn't. But if he's Even at if work, he's not on his lunch you guys don't work. You guys don't work on federal property. You guys. You don't have. To, he doesn't have to. You have no jurisdiction here. It's All like right. crossing we're into gonna, Mexico. We're gonna go ahead and let you guys have a nice day. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Just just understand your boundaries. You can't cross into Mexico and enforce the law. Uh, enjoy your walk of shame. Have a good day. And that, my friends, is how you handle police officers in America. You see, they work for you. You don't work for them. You pay your. You pay their salary. That guy. That cop said. You know, when you sign my check, little does he know that prop property taxes pay for police officers' uh, salary. So even if you don't own a home, guess where your landlord is getting his money to pay his taxes on that, uh, 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 on that property from your rent. So guess what? Everyone here pays the police salary. They work for us. They have to protect the Constitution. Shout out to Auditing America. Shout out to Chase from the Allen Report. I'm out with the beautiful Heather Ray. Make sure you guys go, go to her channel and subscribe. This girl got a thousand subscribers in a day. Awesome. Have a good day. Have a good day. You know what? Actually, I get to go tell the officer now because this oh, is real. Let's see how that oh, goes. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, Karen. Well, we got a Karen let's on the way out. Goes. Oh, they're videotaping me. Yeah, he, she has a reason not to be videotaped. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Go back. Go back I'm there. sure. Look at those. Look. How about if I explain something to you? How about if she had, don't she come had with a reason? She had a reason. Well, just listen to me. All right, we're going to let him talk. Why don't Let's you let me talk? Go ahead. Maybe she has a reason that for her own safety. Because she may have been involved in something that she doesn't want her face on video. Well, maybe would going be, would maybe going to a federal here? building is not the best place. Well, she has to get her mail just like everyone else. Well, she could put it on her mailbox inside their house and put the red flag up. And that's how they pick it up. No, now you guys just seem like you're being vindictive. You're we're being no, 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 no. We could be, nicely. we could be really bad, She's but we're not. We and we're not nicely, and we're not, we're nicely flexing our rights. So if people don't like it, they they can go somewhere else. They're being in public is, a, is not the best place. The building where the public comes and uses it. Right? Correct, okay. and there's no expectation of privacy in a public place. Yeah, but why why do you need to do that? Why do you need to? It's, it's almost a harassment. Sir, here. sir, the Constitution was was uh, was uh, was written to to, to make scared. sure that you guys don't try to do any of this. You're not the feelings police. Do you know what the feelings police is? 
too. You're not the feelings police, brother. It's not about feelings. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely, it absolutely is not about feelings because, yeah, because you, you see, if you I break the law, but if I break, I, I don't, no idea. I, I'm not, I have no interest. Exactly. That's I have right. no interest in knowing what she's going That's through. The point. You don't have an interest. I don't. I, I have an interest about my country and I have an interest of our, uh, about freedom. And I have an interest to educate people on our rights. May I ask you a question? Sure. If you had an interest in freedom and someone said, I don't, I want to be free from video videotape, why would you videotape them? Because the, uh, be, uh, I'm, I'm a paparazzi. It's my job to videotape yeah, people. Two don't fit. You yeah, they said do. you're, in for, you're for freedom. Correct. I appreciate it. But that. your freedoms can stop my freedoms. Yes. You, I have to respect your freedoms I, I and you have to respect matter, my freedoms. Respect. I think it's a matter of respect. And I've been nothing but respectful. Trust me, bro. I know the whole book when it comes to, to profanity and disrespectful lines. I yeah, choose not to. She asks not to be videotaped. And she has the right to ask. And, ask. and she has, the, she and has the right think, to ask. There's plenty of people that didn't mind being videotaped. Nobody did. So why did but she did? And that's fine. Just because one person doesn't like uh, uh, my job, I'm not going to stop it. And now I'm going to tell you something, brother. A lot of people don't like police officers. Are you going to stop being a police officer because people don't like it? It's not about being. You know how I feel when I see them, them, them lights on my rear view? You can go ahead, man. How do you feel? How do you feel when you see those lights on your rear view mirror? Do you feel comfortable? No. no. You know, because you know, every time I go, I get the feelings police. Well, you're making people feel uncomfortable. That's the main line here in America. We're not, we're, not here to, we're not here to make people feel uncomfortable. We're not here to make people feel uh, comfortable or uncomfortable. Okay, we're, we're here to do a job just like you. I'm not either, but I understand people get uncomfortable about it. Your job I'm also makes you, people feel uncomfortable. I'm telling you, she was uncomfortable. And your job you also, but your you job makes mind. a lot of people feel uncomfortable, sir. And, no, and you're not going to do anything about that. All right, now, now I'm not going to give you a hard time. I have full respect and I, and I praise and, I, and I've gone viral many, many, many times for promoting good cops and good service. So you're a sergeant, you're a leader. I don't want to take much more of your day. You have, you have criminals to look for. Do you know what the Third Amendment is? That's fine. No quartering of soldiers in our homes. That's the Third Amendment. Everybody knows the first, the second. Nobody knows the third. You as a leader, sir, you can't protect something that you don't know. So if you take an oath to protect something, you have to know it. Imagine going to the doctor and he doesn't know how to take your blood pressure or something. That's not cool. So thank you. No soldiers in our home. Do you know? Did you know it? I did. You did? I did. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad because it's, it's very important. If we get and then you're going to ask me why, what the hell does the Third Amendment have to do with me? Right. As a police officer, it does a lot because if we have the federal government sending troops to people's houses, you as our local police right here in Chandler are expecting you to be on our, on our side, you know, on the people's side. And you guys have to interfere with any unconstitutional orders. You can't, you can't take any, any of those. So this is a very serious thing, what you guys are doing. I know it's easy to become a police officer. Uh, to go apply and get the job is real easy. Not. It's easier than becoming a barber, for sure. It is. But I don't want to go into that. But it's not easy to have the balls to stand up for freedom. So thank you for, for being respectful. Uh, I may have been a little bit rough on you guys, but you know, that's what our country's about. That's what the First Amendment's about. Our videos are uh, promoting the First Amendment. Although we want uh, people to use it, we don't want people to abuse anybody over the First Amendment. You have the right to, to say whatever you want as long as you don't speak violence. And, and, and if people don't like it, tough luck. I encourage people to be nice. Please. Be nice. I encourage people That's to be. All I, was I encourage people to be nice. To be nice but during these videos, and, and trust me, brother, when I'm not doing my videos, if I'm out there, and somebody and I happen to be taking a picture with my family or something, and and and, and people don't want to be around or something, I'll be like, I, I, I'm more than than careful to to not put people uh, uh, on my videos. I don't want them on my videos. But while I'm at work. Just like you guys, business is business. If anybody breaks the law, you guys are taking them to jail. There's no hard feelings, so is anybody here. But um, I have to, I have to stand up for our rights and I have to do these videos because you see, it's just me, just me here. Mr. America, I'm Enrique, by the way. Okay, uh, I'm Enrique. Uh, I'm gonna leave you to have a nice day. You guys, you guys, you guys take care. Right. Uh, spread the word. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos, all right? I'm sure you'll see us again. You'll see us again, take care. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Heather Ray TV. Make sure you go to her channel.
I'll leave the link on the description and on the comment. I'll pin it on the comment so that you guys can go follow Heather. Make sure you let her know Mr. America sends you over. Chandler Police over here. Knew the First Amendment, didn't know the Third Amendment. Awesome, awesome first video over here in Arizona. Beautiful. This lady over here knew what we were doing. Do you? Do you? How do you know? I watch them all the time. Oh, can oh. I pound it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on I gotta put this. Pound it, ma'am. You're standing up for freedom. I love, love your hat. I this lady's very American, so it's very, very good. And you're laughing, so pound it too. <laughs> awesome. 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 Yes, we're nice people. We're just doing, you know, showing everybody what the First Amendment rights are. Oh, exactly. I love this lady. <laughs> and by the way, we've been getting over 100,000 views in every video for the past two weeks. So this is awesome. You, ma'am, you're a g great example of what an American is. Thank you. you stand up for freedom. You're, you're not, I, I love our country too. And so does my friend over here. We, this is what we, uh, we this is why we do it. The main reason. You travel everywhere? We go everywhere, everywhere. So we're, I'm auditing America. You can okay. find us in all the platforms. You guys, um, will see my videos and know that I'm not out there to create problems with the citizens. The average citizen may think that all oh, these guys are nothing looking but for trouble. But at the end of the day, this is for an education, ma'am. And, and thank you for, uh, for knowing and tell, tell others too, ma'am. Tell others. <laughs>